Welcome to the Solid Game University channel. This video's topic is tab milling or milling of tabs. Uh, so basically what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how we can use one of our toolbox cycles to automatically add tabs to a part similar to what you're seeing on screen here. So this could be a sheet metal part. This could be a, uh, a flat plastic uh, sheet that we're going to machine on this router. Uh, this could be laser cut. This could be a water jet cut. This could be plasma cut. Either way. Uh, basically what this is is just you are going to automatically add tabs to your outside perimeter cut without actually having to add it to the design model. Now, that's always an option, especially when you're doing unique shapes. You might want to uh, have a unique looking tab. This is simply just going to uh, be a addition of just a square tab on the end there, automatically done by the toolpath. So let's take a look at it. So this is actually one of our toolbox cycles. If we take a look at it, it's just the one called temporary bridges. Uh, where most people just prefer the, this sort of action as tabs. And you can see that the geometry is just the outside of the part, simply just choosing the outside perimeter. And my tool is just going to be a simple quarter inch end mill. And I'm just doing the same sort of operations here that we normally would do with a pro, uh, profile toolpath or a pocketing toolpath. I'm just going to say the top of the stock, depth of the part, maybe the bottom of the part. I actually have this set up with the table of the router and a spoiler plate, uh, but I could choose those as well. So really, I mean, again, this is just a very basic toolpath similar to profile pocket. Where you see the differences is in the lower half of the technology section, uh, where we can see where we have bridges. We actually have the ability to automatically add the bridges for us. You just tell it how many bridges you like and the width and the thickness of the bridges, or you can actually tell it the manual positioning. So I'm just going to exit out of here just so we can recover those, those positionings that I put in there. Okay. And I've told it that I want a bridge of a, uh, uh, an eighth of an inch thick, uh, width, uh, in width, and then the thickness is just the same thickness as the part. Now, if I had added a thickness that's less than the height of the part, as you can see from the graphic here, it actually would machine the top of the tab and then just leave that, that thickness on the bottom there. What that actually looks like in terms of a toolpath is it actually just trims the bit out of the perimeter to leave behind the tab. That's essentially what we're doing there. So it starts from there goes around and as it goes around it actually is hopping over the bits where it wants to leave the tab. If we take a look at that in our simulation, I've left behind the tabs where I indicated it. Now the manual positioning is simply I've just chosen a um, some points on the part there. You can see I've actually sketched them in there, but you can go uh, go around and just freehand them as well. Uh, if you just click anywhere, it actually, it actually records that position relative to the start position. But again, very easy. Either do it from sketch or you man or manually put it in or even get it to be done on automatically for you. Now, that is leaving the tabs behind. We're gonna have to go back and remove those tabs. So if I do a save and copy, which I've done with the second toolpath, and all I've done with the second toolpath is check the box here that says remove bridges. What that does is it goes around and automatically removes the bridges that it left behind originally. So you can see there's a toolpath that just goes across and just trims all those bridges. Obviously that would be at the end of your operation once you've done everything to the part, but this is a very useful tool in that it allows you to create the tabs without having to do it on the design side. And then uh, just with a simple save and copy and then a checkbox, remove those same tabs without again having to keep track of where all those things are. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the, the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.